how's it going today just wanted to come on here um man things are getting a little crazy and uh i just wanted to come on here and have a little conversation and uh see where everybody's at and kind of get get some uh conversation going here there is a lot of things going on right now many of you have known what is happening right now um we had talked about on Facebook some time ago about birth pangs. Um, well, we might be in it. We might be that time where we're at today. Uh, many of you know, like I said, you know what's going on here. And uh, if you know, you know. That's, that's what they say, right? If you know, you know. Well... There's some things happening that uh, is beyond our control. Uh, but the Lord definitely has his hand on those things. So oh. I just wanted to come on here and we've been talking about the red letters um, and the things going on. And if you're not up on it, <laughs> if you're not aware We've got some crazy stuff going on. Hamas has invaded Israel. The horrific stories that are coming out of that place and that attack is uh, straight out of Revelation, if you ask me. Um, I have listened to commentators that have talked and said basically that Nothing has happened like this since the Holocaust. And some have said that it's even worse than the Holocaust. Uh, we're talking about, and I, I don't want to get too graphic here, but uh, it, it's out there for everybody to see. And I would, I would uh, advise you, if you have, you have young ones, uh, and I'm talking 10, 11, 12, we need to make our kids aware. What's happening there could very well happen to a certain extent here. Many of you know the, the border is overrun, has been being overrun for months. Uh, there are pockets, there are sleeper cells uh, going on here. Uh, if the U.S. gets gets involved too much, then uh, we may see some of those uh, sleeper cells waking up. And those things waking up will not be good for Americans. Uh, so, it's pretty, pretty interesting. We're living in uh, some fearful times. And... Uh, that, that would be an understatement. Would definitely be an understatement. So, just just to let you know what's what's going on here, I wanted to read some scripture uh, for some of you. And it says in Luke twenty one and twenty five. And let me let me get my glasses on here. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. I'll just stop right there for a second. The sea and the waves roaring, perplexity, signs in the sun. I don't know if y'all are aware, but... Come the 14th, today is what, the 11th? In three days, uh, we're going we're gonna to be seeing an eclipse. And if you happen to live in uh, California, you're going to see uh, pretty much a ring of fire around the moon. 
uh, which will be backdropped by the sun. Uh, for those of us in the Midwest, we're going to see probably parts of that. Um, but uh, that's that's kind of the things that are happening there. In Afghanistan, there has been two major earthquakes, 6.3, over 2,000 people dead. I don't know what the stats are on this second one that happened, but uh, I can only imagine that, that there were other things, many others that have uh, uh, been, been taken by that. Today is not a good day. We have, I guess I could say that it is both exciting and fearful. There are many people, and, and I say that, you you think, oh, well, that's, that's not of God to be fearful, the children of God, blah, blah. Listen to me right now. God made us, and he knows how frail we are. It is not a sin to be fearful, because <laughs> fear God and keep his commandments. Now, some can say that's reverence or whatever. You, <coughs> you better be reverent. You better be watchful and you better be humble because when you see, you, you, you know, some of you with your little candy sticks saying, oh, well, perfect love cast out fear. Well, let me tell you a little bit here. When the hand of God is moving, you want to let's 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 just say some of you that that are so spiritual that uh your feet don't touch the ground i'm not seeing you out there when a hurricane comes along standing in its way getting video and it not affecting you no because you're not stupid enough to do that you know why because there is an innate fear, a preservation of one's life that will kick in, and normally even when you try hard for it not to. So you can say you don't fear the Lord all you want. You can say don't have fear all you want. And it's not a fear in the sense that we feel doomed, but we better respect the power of God and what's coming on the face of this earth. And when I tell you, I want you to take a look at John. You read Revelation. Start out the first, second verse or chapters. See what happened to John. John said he fell at his feet as dead, as a dead man. So you can say that John, well, he didn't have love because he wouldn't have had fear, right? It was Jesus. You don't have to fear Jesus. God is love, right? These are things that in this last time, we better Pipe up. We better put our heads on the swivel. We better be aware. He said to be alert. So we have to, we have to be smart in what is happening, what is coming on the face of the earth. And he said in verse 26, we're back still in Luke. 21, 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, I'm not going to pretend to... to be like some and say, well, this is this is before the rapture, this is after the rapture, this is just for the Jews, this is this is for the Gentiles also. I, I don't claim to know. 
I don't feel that there is enough here that, that, that we can know in some of these areas. But what I can tell you, that I will look at it as if it can be, and this might be, And they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. So he said to look up when these things begin to happen. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I, I think that when we get this close, when we get this close, it might be time. It just might be time for us to start forgetting about some of these extraneous worldly things that we care so much about. And some of your worldly things are the church building. And I say that today, that church building, how many people you get to come to Sunday school next weekend will not matter. Some of you won't get that. But here we are. We've got a map here. Joel 3 and 10 says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come out and come, all ye brethren, and gather yourselves together round about. Round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Hamas entered in to Israel. The last words I've got, the last count that I heard was late last night or early this morning was over 1,200 dead. And I believe that number is going to continue to climb. That number is going to continue to climb. This is horrible times. This is horrible, very horrible. Because what is happening today, what is happening right now, as, as we sit wherever you are, as, as you are at work today, as whatever is going on in your life, it's just not going to matter. It's just not going to matter much anymore. So I will tell you today, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. Now, a lot of folks, and I will tell you today, a lot of folks, I have been guilty myself, but if you stop and think about it, there's a lot of folks that are thinking, hey, you know what? Even so, come Lord Jesus. Oh, let's get this thing over. Let's wrap this thing up.
distress of nations. There is a lot of people. You need to, you and I, we all need to pray for these people in authority that is making these decisions. Stop holding your breath. There may not be another American president coming. It may not happen. For some of you that are hoping for Donald Trump, there may not be another Donald J. Trump as president. This thing may wrap up. It's not a time. To keep playing church, keep patty caking for Jesus. What's going to matter is do you, do I really know who Jesus is? Do I have a relationship with Jesus Christ, my Lord? Is he my Lord? Because if he's not my Lord, he can't be my Savior. If he's not my Lord, he cannot be my Savior. You got to love him with all your mind, soul, your heart, and your whole being. He has got to be first or he can't be anything. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. These are crazy times. If ever he has been at the door, I would say he is at the door. Nigh, even at the door. Beat your plowshares into swords. Uh, you you can there is there is webcams there is live webcams for almost every part of the world. You can go on there. You can see them. Um, there's there's tons of webcams um, live facing Gaza, uh, Jerusalem, the Wailing Wall, twenty four seven. I've noticed if you go out there and you look at the Wailing Wall, it's not packed out. It's not packed out. And I wonder why you would think right now it would be packed out. There are 360,000 reservists that has been called into active duty in this war. Israel is at war. It is so important. It is so important that we, our president, many call him Slow Joe all you want, but there is a Gerald Ford ship. In the water, the Mediterranean, poised to shoot Tomahawk cruise missiles should any other nations decide to jump in. We, last I heard, was, was have another one on the way. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of Armageddon. I know you have. Gog and Magog, where they the, the, the nations of the earth come together into one place. In one passage of the Bible, it talks about the, the blood from the war 
was up to the horses' bridles of their mouth. And there's been studies on that, and I'm not going to go into all that. Uh, just, just quick to say that, that they have seen that, that that is a valley, and that, that very well could happen, given the amount of people that, that could gather there. From EMPs to, to our grid going down, and, and, and it is frail from, from all recollections and, and people talking about it. It is frail in the United States. We have people coming into our border for months and months at a time. There are sleeper cells, as we talked about earlier. It is definitely a high probability that should has Hezbollah decide to come in from the north into Israel. And there's already been, been missile exchanges. If this goes full-fledged, and Hamas has been calling on their, their brothers to, to jump into this thing and help them eradicate Israel, to be done with them once and for all. Egypt they call on. Jordan they're calling on. Lebanon. That they're asking for all these to come in, converge on Israel. And if you've read some, some revelation, you 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 know that that at some point that an eagle comes and, and, and pulls them out of there. Again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not throwing facts out here. I, I leave that to God. And, and I've, I've heard several versions, timelines. And I don't say they couldn't happen. They may. But I'm not the one to tell you what is and when. I just want to be ready, and you must be ready for whatever, whenever. And God will handle it. God will take care of you. I am staying alert. I am watching for his coming. I am waiting. He's going to come to those who are watching. And it may be that you and I, it may come down to Iran funds Hamas. They funds Hezbollah or Hezbollah. Iran calls Jerusalem Satan and America Satan. This thing, there are a lot of people, a lot of very prominent, very wealthy, very um, men with great authority that fear right now, that fear is gripping their heart. Men's hearts failing them for the fear, for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. They genuinely are afraid of how this thing can turn into World War III. Russia. has been trading weapons from what we're hearing with Iran. Russia is 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 has been selling and trading weapons and technology with North Korea. These are places that, that America and Jerusalem uh, Israel have tried to prevent these radical nations to not get a nuclear weapon. These people 
have no value in the human life. They have one goal. That is a mission to destroy their enemy, even at their own peril, even at their own death. They have no problem with that. No problem at all. Find your closet. Seek God. Don't play with religion. It's not worth losing your soul for. There is a time that you need to look to God to find Jesus. There is no pastor going to save you. You can have all the favor in the world with, with, with the pastor, the head of the organizations, and all these other things. You, you, can, you can have all these things. But if you don't know Jesus today, if you don't have a conversation with him, if you do not have a rapport with Jesus yourself, and he's not your number one. He's not your go-to when you have a question, when you need an answer. If he's not, you are in trouble. If he's not mine, I'm in trouble. We have got to seek him while he is near, while he may be found. Folks, we're here at the precipice of the next big thing that's about to happen. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for peace. And as I was saying earlier, you've got these people that are ready to take up arms. They're ready to do this and that, and they, they run their mouth. You don't want to be there. You don't want to have to go look for food to feed your family. You, you don't want dark and no light. We may be almost there. And it's sad, but many people will not make it. Many people will not be ready. Pray for America. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Israel. Pray for one another. God, we just pray and ask you, Jesus, right now, God, that you would move across the land, across the world, across these nations. God, that you would put in the hearts of good men the right decisions. We give you the glory and the praise and the honor. God bless you. Pray for one another. And uh, thanks for watching our videos. Share them and like them in Jesus' name.